Hey, hey YouTube, what's up? Hey guys. So basically today, I haven't recorded in a while. Um, so today is March 17th, to St. Patty's Day. So if you celebrate St. Patty's Day, well happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Um, I wanted to jump on here because I'm gonna be taking out my braids. They are past time to take out. Um, and I ordered some hair. I usually order hair maybe once a year, sometimes twice, um, just depending on the quality of hair. Because if it's good quality hair, you can wash it and reuse it. And we're all about that cost savings life over here. So, um, so, and I'm talking to my sister as I'm doing this. Hey. Okay. So, this is the hair. Here, and this is the yummy hair extensions and I've heard about this company for a while so I wanted to go ahead and review their hair and try it out but only on sale so they had like a national international women a national women's sale or something woman's sale and so I wanted to go ahead and try the hair so I got the Lao. It's L A O, Lao. And it is raw, 100% raw Lao hair from. I forgot the country. So I'll get all that tidbits and, and put it in the next review. But basically, this is just kind of how the hair comes. So it came FedEx just in a bag. It did not come in a box. I was expecting the hair to come in a box. For the amount of money that you pay for the hair you know just for a more a luxury uh, in experience for the price but you know it is what it is it comes with this pink bag here which i'm going to use this for other things so i can appreciate that and then it comes in these little satin things here and y'all know i got this mark g7x and it be Taking his time focusing. Hold on. Let me set my sister down so I can try to zoom in on his bag. Okay, there we go. Come on. Okay, so there's the bag there. So you get the set. Your bundles will come in that satin bag here. And I got three. So I was going to do... I was going to do three of the same length because I didn't know how thick the bundles would be but then I was like oh I might end up cutting on it so let me just I wish I would have just got all three the same length um and then cut layers in it but whatever we're just gonna rock with it so I got a 14 inch a 16 and an 18 and so this is what the hair looks like I'm gonna set my sister up here Okay, so this is what the hair looks like. And I wanted to make sure I remember to record this. It doesn't have like a... It doesn't have like a bad smell to it or nothing. It just kind of smells like conditioner or something. It, ain't, it doesn't smell like super... I mean, obviously I'm going to wash it. But it doesn't have like a corn chip smell or nothing like that. Um, which some hair I guess does I have not had that experience with any hair that I have purchased from even different companies, but So this is the wave pattern You see if I can zoom in on the The wave pattern so you can really kind of see it There that's a good shot. So yeah, this is the hair and then this is the 16 inch here Super pretty. Let me pull it back so you can see. So here's what the 14 inch looks like. This is what the 16 inch looks like. And then this one is the 18 inch. Let me see if I can zoom in on this card. You get this card here. And it just has yummy uh, extensions on here on the back hair care tips and it comes with a QR code 
so that you can scan this on your phone. Fancy, right? Um, on your mobile device and access our recommended hair regimen. So I'm definitely gonna test that out and see how that works. So yeah, nothing to it really guys. I just wanted to show you guys the hair. I hope you all have a fantastic day. The next time I pick up this camera, I should have more interesting news for you guys. I've been interviewing for some positions. So there's some moving pieces going on right now. So that's why I've been super busy. A girl's out here trying to get promoted, honey. So I'm working on that right now. Um, I just dropped my laptop off because I need to start uploading my footage. I was not, I decided that I didn't want to do it for my phone. So I literally just dropped my laptop off. Hey guys, I know it's been a hot little minute since I came on camera. Uh, today is March, what is it? March 27th. So the reason why I wanted to come on here is because I did install this hair and this is the raw Cambodian no sorry guys this is the Lao wavy and I just put some wand curls in it uh, I did it with the the wand and then I keep them up by twisting it um, or putting it in a flexi rod so I did end up using all of the 18 inch I double wept it, like I doubled up the track and then sew, sewed it in. Now, honey, then my first time sewing my own hair and it was a task. Um, I think I'll get better as I do it. If I do it again, I don't know. And then I used all but like two strips of the 16 inch and then I have like maybe like two or three 14 inches in here. Now, what I did was because I didn't want to um, keep sewing, I was getting tired. I did glue like the tracks that I felt like needed to be glued in to kind of fill it out to make it a little more full for my liking. Um, and so this is the end result here. And I'm just gonna come up close so you can see. I gave myself a middle part when I do this again, I'm definitely gonna probably end up doing a side part because I don't know, I just feel like that would be pretty too. And I haven't done a side part in a long time. I've done middle parts, but no side parts. Um, so yeah, this hair does have a little bit of like a frizz to it. So they come, it comes with a card that lets you know, let me see, I'm trying to change the light if I can and it's not working. But anyway, it comes with a card uh, as far as what to put in the hair, how to manage the hair, that kind of situation. So um, the shampoo, let me grab it real quick. I'm in the bathroom because I'm getting ready to go watch TV. Um, this is the Tresemme Rich Moisture. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But that's what it looks like. And so this is the one that was recommended for me to go ahead and use on the hair. So I did wash the bundles. When they first came in the mail, they was okay. I mean, I was kind of like, uh, I was kind of nervous. But when I once I washed them, I liked the hair a lot more. Now it does get a little bit frizzy, so they recommend that you use some kind of polish. I'll insert a picture of it when it comes because I ordered it off of Amazon. Uh, because I didn't feel like going to no beauty supply store, but I think it's called Proclaim Gloss and they recommend that you use a little bit of that to help control any type of frizz. I mean, it doesn't look as frizzy on camera. I mean, and it's not bad frizz. I mean, it's just, you know, a little bit more frizzy um, in the style. So yeah so i installed this hair i've had the hair for like over a week and a half so about two weeks i had the hair something like that and then i installed it saturday and today is monday so so far i'm really liking it the longest bundle is the 18 inch again i don't like my hair super long so that's how long it comes to me 
and I don't really like I said I don't like super long hair so the 18 ended up being perfect um let's see yeah that's all I wanted to do I haven't had the hair in for like a whole week or two weeks and nothing like that but this is just like my initial thoughts and how I like the hair again I installed it myself hey guys it is the next day so I did have my interview and everything went pretty good in my opinion I feel like it was to do if you know anything about interviews um you always want to email the interviewer hiring manager whoever that may be just to kind of let them know that you appreciate them taking the time to interview you I am finishing up my coffee right now and then I'm drinking this drink here this is the peach vibes celsius this stuff is so good it tastes like a peach ring so if you like peach rings i feel like you will really like this a lot because it is pretty good and oh excuse me all i wore for my interview was this bodysuit that i picked up by this brand at kohl's called so I have this one that I picked up and then I picked up like a just like a, a spaghetti strap one because I love bodysuits because they're just so simple and easy and don't have a lot of must fuss kind of thing and then I just got on some black leggings so yeah I'm just gotta I gotta get back to work y'all but I wanted to come on camera let me go over here because this light is better I just wanted to come on camera to let you guys know how the interview went. Hey guys, so I am, I have reset my camera settings because I went, I've been looking at some videos and I found a girl who I love her aesthetics of her videos and she's um, vlogging off of this Mark G7X because y'all, I really am like on the verge of like selling this camera and I literally just got this before Thanksgiving. And it's March and then getting the um, the Sony but then I'm like girl that's just a waste of money like I would sell this camera because it's in brand new condition and I would get a good decent amount of money back for it I think it's just that I don't want to sell the camera if I don't have to at least for a little bit so I've changed the settings guys and I noticed that i'm not as like bright like i'm more like true to my color and my skin tone and like i'm gonna just try to put something up to the camera see if it focuses and it's it focuses so i'm gonna look at her video i'm gonna finish it i'm gonna put this camera on the charger but i'm gonna finish her video and get all of her tips because so far I think like this is my favorite setting and I didn't do anything because the other time it was just way too washed out so the videos that you guys are gonna see of me they're gonna be pretty bad and it's not my fault it's just I'm trying to learn how to do this camera and something just told me I was like why does her videos look like that and she has the same camera so I wanted to look at her videos and kind of see what her ex her aesthetics are giving. And because I just want it to be more crisp and more neutral. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect because you know this camera does not have a beauty filter. So what you see is gonna be what you kind of get. Um, which I'm not tripping about that. Like, I don't need a beauty filter to make a video because this is real life vlogging with you guys and just you know having fun with you all and so i'm not really worried about that but i am concerned about at least not looking so washed out when i go to different lights i hold held this up and look at it it's like not like fading out or something and i did something to this top nozzle thingy that she told me to told us to do um in her video so i think that's really like doing something 
besides the other settings. You guys can see the naturalness of this hair. Way better than when I showed it. Babes, shoe boxes, and I'm scared to death, so. But anyway, so I just wanted you guys up higher so you can kind of see me um, doing this hair. So basically, this is the Yummy Hair Extensions, and I got the Lao Wavy, L-A-O, Wavy, whatever. Um, I've had them in for about two weeks. This is the first time that I have washed them since I installed them myself. Um, and all I did was just wash with the conditioner. I did not do any type of shampoo. I don't add a lot to this hair. Um, just to begin with because you really don't need to do that. Um, I just kind of like my hair to always kind of be free flowing, So I don't like like heavy spritzes and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I just, I just don't weigh my hair down with anything. However, with this hair, it does have a little bit of frizz to it. Um, and I was talking about that when I first installed the hair and so it doesn't seem that bad right now, but I'm going to go ahead and just do what I do. So after I washed, took my shower and washed my hair and my leave out, I did put in some of this and this is the Proclaim Gloss. Um, and they recommend you to use this on the hair and I got this off of Amazon for about nine dollars or something and so once my hair was dry I went ahead and did my leave out using a little bit of this I need to get a heat protectant I will definitely be doing that um, but and then I just took like a drop or two and ran it through the hair like that and that's literally it so i might end up using some more of this we'll see i just didn't want to get go ham and go crazy with it and then i'm going to be using my flat iron that i have here and this is just a conair one um and i think this heats up to like 400 and something i don't really know and then I'm going to lightly curl my ends. I've had this thing for years and this is the Revlon. And it comes with different attachments and it came with a glove. Glove is gone, I don't know where it is. And I love this size attachment. So I use this one. I think I have a bigger one attachment, I think. Let me see if I still got it. Because I might not. Oh, yes I do. So this size right here, I got this size. So I might use this one next time. I'm not gonna worry about it now. Just gonna go ahead and start. And on my leave out, I also did some moves and stuff. So I'm gonna just get this together. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take a brush, and this is like their Conair um, Ouchless brush, I believe. I love using this brush. They are so old now, but I love to use them. And shedding, I'm not getting much shed at all. This is the part that I'm loving about this hair because with my other hair company, um, I would get quite a bit of shedding. This hair does not shed much at all. Like I said, a couple of strands here and there, but nothing to be like super concerned with. So let me rub my hands through it and there's no loose hair on my hands. So um, usually with hair, like wigs and hair that sheds really bad, um, I usually have to like, vacuum our bathroom floor a lot sweep a lot and stuff like that and i haven't had to do that so i definitely want to give that a good 10 out of 10 for me because i love hair that does not shed 
So I think I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with this, the other side. Oof. Okay, so I got this side away and we're just gonna work with this side. So this, I'm pretty much gonna just do it how I did it the day I did my hair. So they recommend that you don't, um, like, you don't need to blow dry the hair out or anything. You can literally just, um, and the longest in length, I, length, the longest length I have in my hair is 18 inch. But basically they would say that you do not have to, they don't recommend like you, if you want to flat iron the hair and straighten it, just let it dry in its natural state and then comb through it and then go in with your products. So I already used a little bit of the Proclaim, so I want to just see how it's holding up just with the couple of drops that I've used. And I can definitely tell you that is a recommendation with the hair. And why can't I find my hair clips? And I did sew most of this in, which was a great, great struggle, y'all. But I got it in, so that's all that matters, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take me a comb. I'm just gonna just go through and make sure I don't have any tangles in the nape of the hair before I get started. Is that a tangle? Yes, yeah, it's a tangle. Okay. And even if it gets a tangle in it, it literally comes out with ease. Like, I can see the hype about, um, I can see the hype for um, raw hair. Like, I'm so glad I treated myself to this hair. And I'm excited to try other textures in the future. But, oh my God, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So that's just one pass. If you can see where we are, that's just one pass. And then I'm gonna go in again. I'm trying to think how many passes I did when I did it the first time. I did about, and I'll be looking over here in the mirror too, y'all, so I apologize. I did about, mm, how many passes did I do? I did a, quite a few, just because I was trying to really get the hair um, straight, and that's just because I missed some spots, you know. But, so as you can see, that's pretty nice and straight. I'm gonna come up close so you can see. Yeah, hey, hey. What? I wanna go get this tomorrow. What you think? It wasn't that. So, if you get this hair or any of their textures, like I said, it comes with a card. And I showed that already, but it does come with a card with what they recommend how you care for the hair. And I mean, so far, that's the only thing I've added and it really helps with those frizzies. Cause I guess watching other videos that I was watching on this hair, they said that that does happen. So I was looking at some one's video and if I can remember it, I will definitely link it or try to find it. But she said that she didn't like the hair in its natural state. She also said the same thing that I was talking about, the frizzies. Um, and she says she preferred the hair straight. Um, and she didn't have to straighten it as often um, with it being straight. She also said, um, she also said that she got the products that they recommended. So um, I'm gonna just do a little bit of this after 
like when I do my final pass through but I since I already put some in I just don't think I need it I'm just gonna do like a little bit but I think she parted each section and did like a little tiny drop because you don't want to weigh the hair down like you'll be mad because it'll be kind of weighed down and it won't have all the body which most of us like our hair to have a lot of body so you know I'm just telling you that's what she advised but as you can see, see if it's pull up here so I can show you guys me straightening. And I honestly think like, as far as the inches I got, cause I had quite a bit of my four, 14 bundle. Like I only use like a literally a couple of strips of it. So I think I'll get like 16s and 18s because you guys know I don't really do super long hair. Every time I order longer lengths of hair, I end up cutting it. So it's just like, girl, stop doing that. Just get what you are used to getting and call it a day. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, so I did straighten the hair and this is what we're looking like right now. So, I do feel like I'm gonna go in with the Proclaim, cause I, like I said, I literally did a drop, but I'm just going to break it back into the sections again, and then just do the, um, do the Proclaim. So, I'm gonna show you, again, this is what it looks like. You can see that. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you how much to use. Okay. So I'm, I'm going in with thicker sections than I did the first time. But I'm just going to do. You see that? Literally. A little. Do not do too much. You will be upset. And even if you think it's not enough, it's enough. And just work it all the way through the hair. And then I'm gonna go in with one more pass again, since I put that on there. And I'm going to show you the hair up front. You see it's thick all the way down to the um, to the ends, which is another good thing that I like about this hair. Like the ends aren't like flimsy and tapered off or anything or unhealthy looking. So that's a good thing too. So let's go and do... And she used a, a dry oil too, which I might, I might end up getting a dry oil. Um, we'll see. But this adds, it's a frizz eliminating shiner. So that's why I didn't think I needed to get the dry oil, but I might get it. We'll see. But she used that as well. And her hair didn't look way down or dry or anything. So. Her hair looked very pretty. And I'm just also going to work it at the top of my hair. Okay. I'm gonna take my curling, my flat iron, and go okay. Okay, so both sides are done, 
and my leave out will look better at once I tie it and all of that kind of jazz because I have really thick hair which is another point that I wanted to bring up they mention if you have a coarser texture of hair they do have the Lao kinky which they were completely sold out of that so that's one that I'm thinking about getting and it comes in clip-ins and um wefts too and then their Cambodian hair um it's lower of a luster so it will blend better um if you're doing like a leave out so but for me you know I'm a, I relax my hair and so it, it ends up being okay so that's just something to think about if you want to go ahead and get this hair so now I am about to start working on my little sides here okay and so I'm gonna work on the sides and then we're gonna finish up everything um, and I'll come back and show you guys but I just wanted to show you how it's looking and all of the body swinging pretty good so I take the curling wand and then I just wrap it under the hair so like about right here and then I just wrap it around and then I hold it because I like to have like a little curl on my end And I pull it, hold it for a second, and then let it drop. So now you can see how it curls. I'm standing up on my tippy so you can see. Okay. And I do like three of those on each side, like three sections of that process. Again, just halfway down. Be careful not to burn yourself. About 10 seconds or less. Hold, let it kind of cool. You could even blow it if you want to. But yeah, and then drop. And then I'm gonna do this section and then do the same thing. And I leave them all just facing. I don't, I call a curl it not away from my face. So just the opposite of that towards my face instead of away. And voila. So there are my ends and I just kind of let them cool. Like I don't like start messing with it just yet. But that's what that is. And then I'm just gonna do, of course, the other side. Now, because I'm not left-handed and I'm just not coordinated at all a lot of times, I end up messing up this part. But we're going to give ourselves some grace. And I might be looking stupid when I'm doing this one. Because I get, like, I'll be like, how do I coordinate with doing this? So. There's that. Let it drop. Hold it in my hand for a few minutes. There we are. And 
And you can flexi rod this hair. Um, when I did the curls in the other clips, I curled it with this first. And then I slept with flexi rods in my hair. So you can do that too. And, oh, dang it. And it will look just as pretty as well. <sighs> Today's Friday, by the way, if I didn't say that. So happy Friday, everyone. I'm just over it, tired of talking. But the show must go on. And I'm not tired of talking to y'all. I love talking to y'all, but at work all day, mm -mm. honey, they give me the absolute blues sometimes. And that is this section. So then all I do now is I just take my brush again. And since it's cooled a little bit, See how pretty that is like super nice and like I said I will tie it and then it will be so much better I know the lighting probably was not the best it usually is not in the bathroom but this is what the pattern is looking like and these curls will last a good a lot of the time so yeah, what you guys think of the hair? Do we like or no? Do we like it or no? I love it. And it's just full of that body and that bounce. So you can see the texture. Turn it and make sure you can see 